carry a specific letter to verify their place of employment. She also encourages all residents to follow health orders issued by state and local leaders. This announcement comes on the second day of a stay at home order issued by Salt Lake County. Well, misinformation has led to xenophobic attacks against Asian Americans around the country. Now some say it's happening in our own backyard and Weber State University wants to tackle the issue head on. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen has the story. As COVID-19 impacts communities around the world, here at home, Asian Americans face more than just the fear of contracting the virus. Officials at Weber State University say xenophobic behavior against Utahns of Asian descent are on the rise. So the primary thing that I'm seeing or hearing is that people are asso associating the pandemic with Chinese individuals. In a letter addressed to campus on Friday, Andrew says, quote, two Chinese students were sprayed with Lysol at a Cedar City Walmart and told to go home. A Chinese family was sworn at and told to go back to China in their own yard. Another Chinese woman was running on one of our beautiful trails when another woman picked up a stick and hit her. It's really oppressive and hurting somebody who is simply just living their life and trying to survive the pandemic like anybody else. Christian Palm Savan, president of the Asian Student Involvement Association at Weber State, says the rise in xenophobic incidents is creating fear among their community. I feel like um, a lot of my family members are kind of like in this panic right now where they don't want to go outside or they don't want to interact or do anything because they're afraid that, you know, they will have racist remarks or Andrews is now working with Palm Savan and other groups to urge the public to condemn this type of behavior, offer support and help dispel misinformation. We love all of the members of our community. We welcome everyone. We all belong here. And if people are attacking you, please tell someone. Reporting for ABC4 News, I'm Rosie Nguyen.